Weight Watchers has come under fire, having perhaps misjudged their latest diet campaign called Black, which focuses on um, sex and, and confidence. Now, according to the company, more than half of Australian women only have sex in the dark because they don't want their partner to see them naked. After we never had sex completely naked because I couldn't stand the thought of him seeing all of me. The underlying message that many have taken out of it is that if you're overweight, you can't have a good sex life. Um, Weight Watchers also decided to send female journalists mood light bulbs designed to give you a little boost in the bedroom to support the campaign. Don't ask me how you use the light bulb. Now, joining <laughs> us to discuss our masters of spin, Jane Caro and Dan Gregory. My advice is don't turn it on no. before you use it. All. So, yes. um, Jane, I mean, this is a tricky position, OK? Because you know, half of the women, and who knows how they were surveyed, but yeah. half of the women said that they felt uncomfortable having sex with the light on. Mm. So Weight Watchers are, are trying to, to reflect a perceived reality there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, that's their rationale. Look, have they ever thought perhaps that women are really considerate and it's not themselves that they're yeah. having a problem looking at. Uh, <laughs> the light's <laughs> off or perhaps another reason. Sure. Uh, that's never been investigated. Uh, however, I just think the problem is Weight Watchers have misjudged the mood. Mm. Yep. They have totally hit the wrong note here because I think what is going on at the moment with women and particularly on social media is actually a fury about being made to feel ashamed of ourselves, yeah. yes. of how we look, of what we do, of how our body works. There is a real movement to say no, women will no longer feel ashamed mm. Mm. and they've tried to use and manipulate shame. Because, D Dan, we've seen how successful campaigns like Dove, which celebrates bodies of all kinds, can be. They really seem to get it right. Yeah, well, th they, they do get it right. And look, they've had some interesting campaigns around, you know, getting a, a, a police sketch artist to draw the way a woman sees herself and compare yeah. that to how uh, other yeah. people see yeah. her. Or um, they've had a look at retouching. I mean, one of the issues that, that they face is, is as part of Unilever, well, they're associated with links and acts yeah. around the world, which yeah. is also criticised for how, yeah. how it um, portrays women. So, yeah, they, they do get it right some of the time, but then there's a whole congruence issue that, that gets raised in the media as well. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a difficult sort of space to be in, I guess, because, you know, f female physicality is a hotly contested area, oh. you know, philosophically, politically, you yeah. know. It's very hard, I suppose, to, to manage that message or shape that message. Well, it shouldn't be, because really all you need to do is think about a woman's body, not as something that other people look at or take mm, pleasure yeah. in, but as something that a person occupies. Yeah. It, is, it should be about, as soon as you write about the owner of the body, rather than the way that body is viewed or, or seen yes. by others, you're in, a, you're in a good place. You're going to write about it in yeah. a respectful way. So it's just about having the imagination to think what might it be like to be a woman who's a little overweight? What, what might it be motivating? And I don't think shame is the way to go. I think, though, that, that one, of the, one of the things that, that's probably driven this is they've had a research group and it's come up. Oh, my God. Yeah. What an amazing statistic. That's yeah. really yeah. unusual. And I think they've thought... You know, one of the ways that you, you have influence with people is you demonstrate an empathy. You demonstrate an understanding of what's going on for them. But I think there's a difference between what people are prepared to say in a research group and what they're prepared to have reflected back at them through advertising. Yeah. I think that's that's where the conversation got missed. Yes, because don't I'm, use my, my, my misery to sell to me. That's yeah, right. Sure. Make it positive. Mm. Make it positive. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. Good to see you. Don't go anywhere.